Hey there! If you'd like to learn how to display the standard DV menu module as a vertical version, as a list of links, for example, inside your footer, and then to keep that appearance on mobiles uh, as well, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Anya and my goal here is to help you build beautiful websites. So if you are using a DV theme builder to create a footer and you would like to display um, vertical navigation, like multiple columns with different menu items, uh, you can use the standard menu modules and turn it to vertical version with just a few lines uh, of CSS. And that is what I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so this is what I mean, a vertical navigation with list of links. It's great for these big footers for e-commerce uh, websites or basically just any big website. And yes, I know you could build that layout using the text module and place your links inside the text module, but I think using a DV menu is better because then you are able to manage these links using the appearance section in your WordPress dashboard. And with WooCommerce, for example, it has this logout link uh, that will only be visible if the user is currently logged in. And I'm sure different membership plugins and things like that would uh, have different um, dynamic options for your menus. So being able to display that in the footer is very easy actually, because you only need just a few lines of CSS. And we can also make sure that these links will still be visible uh, on smaller screen sizes. So on your phone, we would still see a list, no hamburger icon here on tablet. Uh, that would be still uh, nice, uh, nicely displayed in two columns. So that is a very nice footer layout, I think. Uh, and I will uh, show you how to do it with CSS. And I will also show you how to create this nice hover effect. Okay, so this is an empty page right now. Let's add a similar uh, structure. And first a text module for only for the header. So information. Let's make it uh, H2. And then let's uh, add a new uh, menu module below. Okay, here it is. And now I will add a CSS class DLV for vertical menu. Okay, let me move that here. Okay, so let's save that. And now I will use the browser inspector to write my CSS. So if I right click and inspect, I can see that there are all these different flex elements inside my menu container. So to make sure everything is on a new line, all I need to do is change that display type from flex to block but I only want to target elements inside DLV menu. I can see right here that four different elements are using position flex. These are all the uh, menu items. I have ETPB uh, menu wrap, ETPB menu menu, ET menu nav, all, all this is uh, right here. So if I copy that selector, and use that, but with my DLV menu CSS class. So I'm attaching that class to ETPB menu selector because that's the same thing. My module has a class ETPB menu and my DLV menu class. So I will use both to make sure that my CSS is more specific and I will say display block. Okay, so just simple as that. We can also make sure that this inner container and ETPB menu wrap is displayed blocks block as well. So let's uh, add that here. Let's see here in the sources, that's my style sheet. 
and I can um, define DLV menu in that menu container. Let me put this on a new line. And also that ETPB menu wrap. with if inside DLV menu. So now let's fix the mobile hamburger icon. Our main menu is visible right now. So that's great. That's what we want. But we don't need that duplicated element, that mobile menu version. So to hide that, we let's find that selector. So we have ET mobile nav menu uh, container. All we need to do is uh, hide it with display none. So if that mobile container is inside DLV menu display, let's display it. none. So basically two rule sets will display your navigation vertically on all screen sizes. It's very easy, actually. And now let's uh, add that nice hover effect. If we look back here, this is just a simple line, which is invisible now. And then when I hover, it shows and it moves to a bit different place. So when creating something like that, you have to kind of define the initial place for that line and then change that appearance on hover. So we can add that line using the before sudo element on our A element, on our links. So A, which is inside DLV menu, we want to add a before a sudo, a, a sudo element. first content that's needed for this to actually be visible. So we need content and then display block. You could use an icon here. And uh, because if I add any content here, any value like this, it will display right here, right? So you could use an icon font, for example, but I want to create that element myself just by specifying width 10 pixels height, two pixels and background, let's say gray. OK, so that's my line uh, with display block. It goes to a separate line, but I do want to position it absolutely. So it doesn't matter. I don't need to use display inline block, but with position absolute, I will move it to the left by negative 25 pixel, for example, and then uh, move it uh, from the top, so move it down, offset it from the top by relative value, let's say uh, 1.5 EM, which would be relative to the font size of my link. So if the font is bigger, that would still be somewhere in the middle here. OK, so let's say that this is my default uh, position for, for that element. I also want to hide it. so opacity zero. And I want to make sure that when it shows, it shows smoothly. So I need transition transition all 0.3 seconds is in out. So that's the transition shorthand. We're defining which uh, properties we want to transition, how long the transition uh, is taking place and what's the transition um, timing function. OK. Now that it is, we have the initial state, let, let's add the hover state. So we will target DLV menu list item uh, link on hover. So when we hover a link, we want to do something about the before element. Change the opacity to one and then um, move it closer. So decrease the left offset, let's say negative 10 pixels. And now I can enable that hover state uh, on my link. So that's how it would look. 
and I will also add some padding to the link itself on hover. So another style link on hover, but only links inside the LV menu. Padding left, let's say eight pixels. Padding left eight pixels. And now if I enable that hover, you see that it the link uh, text moves uh, slightly to the right and my line appears uh, from the left to the right as well. So it's like super simple. If we look at our style sheet, it's just a few lines of CSS. We can prettify it. So that takes care of the vertical navigation. And this is the CSS I used for uh, adding that hover effect. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to copy the code I used from my blog post where you can also download the JSON file with a sample uh, footer layout. And uh, if you have any comments, just get in touch and I'll see you next time.